All right, Nation Ford seniors, this is Naviance. This is the system that you're going to use a lot this year, especially for requesting transcripts, letters of recommendation, college research, and much more. This is the main page that you're going to see when you type in student.naviance.com backslash n Ford HS. This is linked on our website as well. You're going to go to the student backpack. You're going to click continue with Clever. This is our safest way to log in. You're going to type in our school, Nation Ford, and then you're going to log in with your Google account. So it's going to bring up your options here. You're going to want to make sure you sign in under your name. Once you get there, this is what it's going to look like. So this is your main page. I'm going to go through a couple of our most important things, but there's a lot to look on here. So spend some time just looking over it and seeing what you might want to use it for. All right, so the first thing we're going to do is show you how to request a transcript and add colleges to your list. So on this main page, you see where it says My Favorites. You're going to go to Colleges I'm Applying To. I went ahead and added some here so you would see what it looks like. So when you're ready to add a school, you're going to come over to this pink plus sign, and then you're going to type in the name of a school. So I'm going to look up Appalachian State University. So you're going to click on that. There's going to be an option for the application type, whether it be regular decision or transfer or priority. So you're just going to click whichever one best fits you. No worries if you get it wrong. We're going to just fulfill your request as soon as you put it in either way. As far as the application type, you're going to either say I'm applying directly to that school if you're applying on their website, or you're going to click via Common App if you are using the Common App. So for this instance, I'm just going to click direct to the institution. If you've submitted your application, you'll check that box. If you haven't yet, then you can leave it unchecked. You have two choices now. You can either just add the school or you can add and request transcript. So we're going to add and request transcript. This is your initial transcript. Later in the year, you'll be able to request a mid-year transcript in February and a final transcript in June. You're going to click Request and Finish, and then it is in. You'll be able to see here that it says your request has been submitted, and it is pending. And once it's been sent, you'll see the date it was sent there. And then the Common App was slashed out because we selected Direct to the Institution. If we had selected Common App, we would need to match our Common App. This is very important. If you use Select Common App, but then do not match your Common App to your Naviance account, we will not be able to send your transcript. So you have to click Match Accounts and then enter your Common App email address, so the email that you use to create Common App, and your date of birth, and click Match Accounts. If you come up with an error, it could be because you didn't sign the FERPA waiver on the Common App. So make sure you have that signed so that we can send your transcripts directly to the Common App. So once we have that, you should be in here. Now, if you would have just added the school and you wanted to request the transcript later, there's multiple ways you can do that. But the easiest way is to go to Request Transcripts, click Initial, pull down your little arrow, and then all your schools are going to show up there. So if you just want to send it to one school, just click that one. If you want to send it to multiple, you can click as many as you'd like, click Done, make sure that looks good, and then Request. So then those are all requested now. And you can keep track of those um, under that Office Materials tab. So that is our most important thing that we know how to do when we're looking at transcripts. Another thing that you're going to want to use this for is potentially some recommendations. So if you go to Colleges and then Colleges Home, and you're going to scroll down, you're going to see on the left here Letters of Recommendation. Click on that. And then you can add a request here. It is important that you've already talked to the teacher that you're going to write, have, write this recommendation because we don't want them to not know that it's in Naviance. So we want to make sure you've spoken to them and that they have agreed to give you that rec letter of recommendation. So if I want to get Mr. Burns as my letter of recommendation, I'm going to put him there. Then you can either click all, and, all current and future colleges that I am applying to or just specific schools if they only require a few. You can see their required ones here and how many they will allow you to send. Some schools have a maximum and they won't allow more than what they say. So you can click the schools you want it to send to. 
it's nice to put a little note in there to remind them um, about all your great qualities and things that you would hope that they would highlight in your recommendation and then you would submit your request and then you can see the status on there as well so just so you know how to get to that again we're going to go back to colleges and it was down under applying to colleges so those are two really important things that you know how to do one more thing that I'd like to show you is the college match. We talked about this in our video earlier. The college match is really, really cool. You can put in all kinds of different things that you would want in a school, and then it will help you find what school you want. So you're going to just go to super match, select criteria to start, and then fill in whatever you want, whether it be just schools in South Carolina or if you want schools in Alaska. They'll give you anything that you are looking for. You can put in academics. If you want to get a certain degree, you know for sure you want to be an accountant. Go ahead and click accounting and finance, and it'll filter out schools that don't offer that. And you can just go forward and add as many things as you want. And then it's going to start showing you schools that meet those criteria, things that are 100% fit, 75% fit, um, and other options as well. If you want to look into that school, you just simply click the name of the school and then it's going to come up with all this data and information that is important for you to know as well as a link to their website. So those are the most important things. There's again a lot of different things you can do on here. They have some great career research as well as career inventories you can take. If you have no idea what career you're interested in, this is a great place to get started. As always, if you have any questions, please reach out to your, to your counselor and contact them with anything that you need. Thanks!